the clutch valve hooked up it's just gravity bleeding which means that the line is completely hooked up and we have the bleeder valve cracked open uh, next Magnus wants you to bleed the clutch with the solenoid off which is normal operation and then bleed the clutch again with the solenoid on powered as if it was doing that slip so for both methods you want to get a full bleed you might want to do a couple times of each we're gonna play with it to see until we get the pedal feel that we want and we get all the air evacuated from the system you can also use a vacuum bleeder if you choose to do that. It depends if you have tools for that. Uh, in this case, we're just gonna do pump, pump, open, pump, pump, open, pump, pump, open until we get all the air out of the system. So in our fuel tech software, we have yellow output one, which is set to progressive nitrous output. And that's uh, the table that you'll be using for the clutch valve inside of fuel tech software. If your ignition is on, you can click this right here. And while you hold it, the solenoid will be powered. So we're on that table right now where you test your outputs. But this is no clutch slip, right? Normal operation. Now we're going to power the solenoid and it's at a very aggressive slip rate. So it's gonna slip for a long time. We're gonna power the solenoid with this output tester. So basically in the drag environment, we would have this off, solenoid off, put the clutch in, put it in first, activate two-step, pass a certain TPS, solenoid activates, and then you have that slow delay. Then after X amount of time, it turns off. If you're clutch driving for second or third gear, you can have normal operation now. Or if you're on a strain gauge, now you just grab it and you don't have to use the clutch until the end of the pass. We are at Orlando Speed World, got La Fea all staged up behind us. I got my boy Alfonso, my boy Gabby right now with us, and we're getting ready to run a 10-0 index. So this event is Dreamfest. They've been around for about six years. This event in particular has a car show with a bunch of winnable categories, two drag race index sections, and it also has a two-step competition later in the afternoon with some raffles. So we're just happy to come out here. This is the first time that I raced the car in quite some time. And obviously we turned it down for the 10-0. I'm on about 20 pounds of boost. And I think that should be perfect to get us into that uh, 
10-2, 10-3 around that range. But there's qualifying and testing in a little bit. We'll do some test hits and um, see where the car's at. We have a bunch of new parts on it. We've uh, shown you guys already in the last couple videos what's been going on. So we're just happy to uh, get it done. And Gabby's actually helping out with a professional camera. Let's see the camera. So we're gonna have some nice photos, some nice video. Stay tuned, it should be a really good night. Also, shout out to my wife for picking up the new Yeti. This was actually on sale and it's the perfect color. It's red. You can see my bumper right there. We got the red. I just gotta wrap this half camouflage black so it matches and i think this is the first event i come actually fully stocked we have pineapples little oranges we have some uh public subs you know we have to have those waters nice and hydrated energy drinks and some cookies so we're looking out to be pretty good i want to take a quick shout out to real street for making it happen so we can actually take the days off work and come out and race these events i appreciate my people there if you guys need parts you already know where to go and obviously some love to some of the other people who's helped us out recently, especially KDM Performance and Speed Factory. We have a whole bunch of stuff that we're testing out in the next couple of weeks with these guys. So we're really excited to have them on board helping out. Do you see that? Looks like rain to me. We're gonna push this under the tent real quick. Maybe put a little bag over the parachute so that doesn't get too wet and damp. It's not looking great. So thankfully the sun's coming back out and the clouds are clearing up a little bit. Uh, obviously the floor's drenched, but car shows are getting dried up. The track is definitely salvageable as long as it doesn't continue to rain, but they could do a couple hour cleanup from what I've seen them do before. So hopefully they go with that path and we can get back to some racing later. Pablo, how you feel? I love this. I'm, I'm super happy that the rain stopped because we can actually do some racing. So we teched in right before the rain started and unfortunately it started raining. I think it uh, should clear up maybe in the next hour or so. Maybe we can get it to some racing if they clean the track fast enough. But uh, we'll see it. Show cars, doesn't matter if it rains. So. First part is like, bro, you can tell it's already drying heavy. And I went to the starting line and it was dry. Like the whole pits are already drying out. The weather looks beautiful now. DA drop, we're chilling. I don't know, dude. It is what it is. So unfortunately, we ran into a roadblock at the track. It started raining and it was a weird situation because it only rained for like 20 minutes. The road itself, it got kind of damp, but it dried up very quickly. Um, the track officials decided to call it for the night and the event got canceled, it got rained out. Now there was still car shows uh, during the track event. So that got ran through its course. And I guess that's part of racing. We look forward to the next outings. Uh, I have the car behind me still on the trailer and ready to go back out to the track ASAP. I think that there's a test in tune that we can hit in the next couple days. So it'll be easy just to hook up the trailer, head over to the track and work on some of the stuff that we've been testing out. So beginning of the video, you saw that I put a clutch valve on it. Magnus makes two versions of the clutch valve. This is the Pro Series version. Essentially, it's a solenoid that slows the rate of fluid coming out from the clutch pedal. And I've already touched on this a little bit in the beginning of the video, but we're trying to make the car a little more consistent. In the FuelTech software, there's a few ways that people have made it to control that valve. And essentially it's a mechanical slip that you use the knob on the valve to determine the rate of the slip. And then through the ECU, you control how long the actual solenoid is engaged or how long you have a window to slip it. Uh, the car runs a strain gauge. So after first gear, we don't hit, need to hit the clutch anymore. There's people that run it um, as a progressive nitrous controller and there's other people who run it as a time-based function outside uh, or after your validated launch. And there's a few ways to do it. Uh, my buddy Kyle, he does it with a switch and just turns it on before the pass. And I think for us to dial it in, we might do something similar like that, but we'll see at the next time that we go to the track. So unfortunately we weren't able to test that out, but we'll do that soon. 
As for the fabrication stuff, you guys saw that I did some intercooler things as well. Essentially what we wanted to do was get the radiator back to the front of the car and to do so we needed to move the intercooler a couple inches forward. So radiator is back in the front, water pump is next to it, a little bit more nose weight and a little bit better cooling, great temperatures compared to how they were before. And also the intercooler moved forward has more of a weight ballast towards the front of the car versus the rear, which you want in a front wheel drive car. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up everything for today. I'm heading out for the day. I'm gonna go home, have a little wine, eat a little cheese on a charcuterie board, spend some time with the woman, and uh, hopefully be uh, ready to go back out to the track in the next couple of days. That pretty much sums it up, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.